Um, but, you know, never say never. Scott Nation, do you have a question for Peter? Well, I do. And Peter, you and I disagree completely on whether or not the Fed is responsible for what we've seen uh, since the beginning of the year. And the reason I think that it has absolutely nothing to do with the Fed is that for the two weeks immediately after the Fed's December meeting, where they raised rates for them in eight years, raised them by 25 basis points, for the two weeks after that, the S&P was unchanged, gold was unchanged, and the dollar was actually higher against the euro currency for about three quarter, by about three quarters of 1%. And so let's take a look at a specific market. It's usually easier to, easier to distill broad trends by looking at single markets. Let's talk about crude oil, because you say that the collapse in crude oil prices has everything to do with the dollar and nothing to do with production. But I don't understand that, because Saudi Arabia and OPEC in general, they have produced more than their quota for now 20 months in a row. And if they're, if they're producing more than their quota, and if we're nearing capacity of storage at Cushing, Oklahoma, and if crude oil is down by nearly two-thirds over the past year, then how in the world can you say that the crude oil story is a dollar story? Okay, let me take the first part of your question first, or, and then I'll, I'll get to crude oil. So markets don't immediately do what they're going to do. Sometimes they have a head fake. I don't know if you've ever been a trader, but oftentimes, Markets do the opposite of what they're going to do initially to fool people. They sucker in some longs, they clear out some shorts. So sometimes that happens. Before you get the real move, you get the head fake, kind of like a running back, juking left and then running right. So that's what the market did. This isn't a coincidence well, but that the Fed you, raised rates do that? and not everything. Knew, but Peter, hang on one second. If somebody knew that the Fed raising rates was going to pressure the stock market, why would they fool around? Why wouldn't they have just sold it on the afternoon of the 16th of December because or the next day? Why would they fool around for two weeks and let it go sideways? Because they didn't know that. Remember what the attitude was when the Fed raised rates. It's great. It's not going to hurt the stock market. It's, it's, it's validating the confidence that the Fed has. The economy is strong. People were wedded to this ridiculous narrative, and it fell apart. And, you know, I remember the day after the rate hike, I was on this show, and you guys were making fun of me because the market was up. And I said, give it time. It's not in one day. I knew the market would tank. Peter, all due respect, we were making it. fun of you because you said it was impossible. You said it was impossible. You did say it was impossible for the Fed to next, raise rates. No. And you said there no, what I was said. QE4. But, no, Peter, you absolutely me, said that. We can, no. we can revise history, but we have it on tape. No, let me tell you what I said. I said it was improbable that the Fed would raise rates because it was impossible to raise rates without pricking the bubble in the stock market and pushing the economy into a recession. So the Fed was actually dumb enough to do what I thought they had the ability to do. Yes, it is. You said they would, and the QE4 was next. Yes, it is. 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 You said that if the Fed raised rates, the stock market would go up, it tanked. You said the dollar would That's go up, it said. tanked. You said the gold would go the down, year, it rallied. Since the beginning of the year, Anthony Versace and I have both been saying, often together on this show, sell rallies in both the S&P and in crude oil. So people who have watched futures now and made those trades have worked out really well. But you know, the well, last time well, you, you were think on, they made both back Jackie all the money and they lost from your Jackie I don't know. And, and Brian Stuttman ask you for specific trade ideas that would make money if what you suggested was going to happen indeed happened. And you filibustered and didn't come up with any trade idea no, other than Look, that. Scott, well, how does that I help? told how people to buy gold. Anybody? It's a, it, you, I, you can gold continue was, to try and scare people into buying gold because you happen to well sell it. Look, you happen to sell, people, yeah. Peter, you happen to sell gold. So congratulations, you continue to scare people into buying what you're selling. But how about but another I'm trade scaring idea people that will help our viewers I'm, make money if you're right going hey, Scott, through. Scott, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm helping a lot more people make your other question about oil well, it's and why it's a dollar it's store. It's not at 5,000, Peter. Let me ask you this, guys, because we are me, running out of time here, let, and I do have to move to Peter, let me, Peter, let me, finish the Peter, let me just ask you what your target is for 2016. 2016, where do you think gold's going? Yeah, I'm going to answer the question on oil, though. The, Please make the, it quick. I'm all running commodity out of time prices here. are down. Let, okay, all commodity prices are down, not just oil. It's not about production. Production might be responsible for 5 or $10 a barrel. It's the dollar. And when the dollar turns, all commodities are going to turn, including oil. Okay. Answer my question regarding gold. Can you give me a target for 2016? Higher. 
I think once it gets through 12, I need something more than higher. The next stop is 1300. Look, it's going okay. a lot higher. I don't know exactly how much higher, but it's going a lot higher. And when, if the Fed does what I think it's going to do, if they cut rates and launch QE4, it's going much, much higher. It's going to take out the old high. And yes, we're going to get to 5,000. I don't know if it's going to take a few more years, but it's going to get there and it's probably going higher. 